Hi everyone, today I'm back here to show you how to make this cute caterpillar. You'll be super cute if you need to make the cake and you make the butterfly and then you make this caterpillar. So I thought I'm maybe giving some another, you know, detail for your cake will help. It's super easy. We're going to make a little ball. You can see the caterpillar right there. So it's easier for you guys. So you make just a little ball and you're going to make another little ball. You can make it green or blue or any color you want just use the palms or your hands so you don't leave any fingerprint and you just put them together so I made the first ball and I make the second ball a little tiny smaller just to give a little detail you can make even like the caterpillar longer with little more balls whatever and I made a ball and I made a, a teardrop shape and I'm gonna put the bottom of the teardrop shape on the on the table so you have the round part on the top and now I'm using again um, the craft um, foam I think it's the craft foam the name of this just to let it dry there so it doesn't get sticky or there's a mark or anything and we keep going making little balls I made that little I think it's almost the same on the other side and I'm placing right there if your fondant or gum paste or cold porcelain, whatever you're using is not sticking, you can put a toothpick um, or you can use edible glue or if you're using something that's not edible glue, you can use normal glue. But for now, my mine is sticking. And now I made a little bigger ball for the head. So you measure because you want the head to be a little bigger and you flat just a tiny bit on a, on a table. And we pink we gonna make a, a oh i'm sorry that's not even pink that's the skin color my video is kind of weird we're gonna make a just a little row and place right there for the smile and you just flat a little with your finger right there and i'm using again the the cook cutter or you can use any type of tool or a toothpick anything that you want to do is just to make it a smile and i don't know i always reach for the cookie cutter but you can you don't need to have that cookie cutter to make anything just make a smile and soft the edges if anything is marked right there is it too bright the video guys let me know I'm I thought that the other videos are dark I got some emails saying that the video is dark but it looks very bright to me because I'm watching to make the the audio and it looks very bright let me know I made a little pink ball for the nose and I placed it right on the top of the mouth right there yeah it looks kind of bright um, now I'm gonna make the eyes. We're gonna make two small balls with the white and we're gonna let the balls with the tear shape, the teardrop shape. But I'm gonna kind of make them a little, not that big, a little flat so you can make the detail but it's not like pop out of his face. So we're gonna do both for both sides. Here we go. I'm gonna show you guys. I was just measuring the size I wanted. Um, here we go. I made a ball, and then I go up and down, up and down, holding just one side, and I get the teardrop shape. And I flat it a little bit because I don't want the eyes to be like ooh, two in the front of his nose. Here we go. And I place right there, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, right there. And I put it then like close together in the top, but you can make it then more round and separate it. You can give your caterpillar <laughs> any little face you want. That's fine. And now with the black, I'm going to make two little balls for the black. Again, if you don't want to buy or have the hassle to make black gum paste or fondant, then it's not easy. Um, you can use the edible pens or if you're doing something not edible, you just use any Pen. just let everything dry if you're using pens because sometimes you can mess it up your work and now I'm doing two little balls for the antenna that can be hearts that can be a ball that can be a anything you guys really think your caterpillar should have I made a the heart on a bur butterfly so I decided to make just little balls for the caterpillar I'm using the same wire it's a flower flower wire you can find the Michaels the Joanne's probably even Walmart or things like that on the craft aisle and I'm just gonna place right there here we go and when it dries it gets sticky in there and what are we missing 
we're gonna make a little little tiny pink ball and we're gonna squish the bottom to make a little bottom the, the bottom of the heart and you flat a little bit and or the two on the ruler or anything that's like flat you're gonna mark the middle and you're gonna make a little heart or you can use a silicone mold or you can use anything else uh, since I have been using a lot of silicone molds and there's not everybody that knows I decided to make that without it and I'm just gonna mark a little bit to give some details like I did on the butterfly so they can be you know the same style you can guys can use on the same batch of cupcakes or the same cake they look very cute now with a little tiny little tiny 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 little thing of white I even got too much I need to make even smaller we're gonna make the light of his eyes so it need to be very tiny and then we're gonna place right there on the black see it's really tiny right there yeah it's a little I think it really is a little bright but I promise I'm getting the hang of the videos. I'm going to try to make the best way possible for you guys to see it. So any feedback is good. So let me know. And then I put a little white on his nose for the reflection of the light. Be careful to do, do that to your bow like I just did it when you put it on his head. You stick the wire out. But it's okay. Um, I'm using a two-peak because I'm just making a mold, but if you're making with fondant for a cupcake, don't use two-peak so the kids can eat it. If it's a cake topper, you can use it. Just let it, whoever you're making the cake know. And that's done. She's a super cute caterpillar that is perfect for the butterfly cake. And I hope you guys like it. I see. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.